So I had a lot of, qu of uh, questions about um, solving an equation for a certain variable, problems 41 to 43. So I would like to take a minute to um, show you, talk you through those. Um, so let's take a look at problem 41. Our formula is A equals P plus PRT. And we want to solve it for T. Now, if all the other things were numbers, I think you could easily solve that for t. But because they're other variables, you get wrapped up in the fact that they're other variables. Treat them if they were numbers. If you were a number, what would I do with you? Well, this p here, we can subtract away. If that was a 4 that we've added on, we would subtract it. And we get a minus p equals prt. Now let's think about these numbers here. These numbers here, P and R, are going to be multiplied by T. So what do we do there? Well, we're going to divide by PR. And now you'll notice that we've got the T completely by itself. A minus P all divided by PR. Now be careful. Don't try to cancel out those P's. There would have to be a P sitting here, here, and here for that to cancel. Since the A doesn't have that, you are done. That is far as you could go. Okay, so there's 41. Let's take a look at 42. So for 42, we want to solve it for F. Okay. So again, treat every other variable if it was a number. So let's first add three G's to both sides. We get DF equals 4H plus 3G. Now let's divide both sides so that we can get rid of the D here. Divide both sides by D. So F is 4H plus 3G, all divided by D. So there's 42. Let's look at 43. We are solving this one for B. <coughs> I think one of the most effective ways to do this problem. It's going to end up being so much simpler than you think. So we're allowed to cross multiply this, this over there. And then we can cross multiply this over there. Now the only reason we can do that is because this is set up like a proportion. So you'll notice what happened is the B and the C switched places. And that's going to happen um, with proportions, with fractional things. So that's, that's nice. And then finally, 44. We are solving this for G. Now the easiest way, I think, to get rid of uh, one half is to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of one half. So what is the reciprocal or the flip of one half? That would be two over one or two. So let's multiply both sides here by two so that the one half can cancel out. And so we get 2s equals gts. Now remember, we're solving for G. We only have to divide off that TS, and then we're done. So G is 2S divided by T squared. So there's just some real quick examples from section 1-4 about solving an equation for a specific variable. Okay, bye guys.